Welcome back, you bees, to another video here on the channel. Today, this is another episode of How to Arc. Remember last episode, I showed you the basics of survival, what everything meant in the game, basics to food, and what not to do at the beginning of the game. So, since last episode, I sort of just like made the house a little bit bigger, as you can see here. Um, but I wanted to show you this anyway. So, as you can see, I'm moving a little bit slow as well. If we go into inventory, our weight is quite high up. Um, so, what I've done is when I leveled up, I Learn how to build a storage box, which is fiber, thatch, and wood. I'm going to make one of them just to store our items. Um, but first of all, I'm just going to show you how to build real quick. So I, I did put all these down, but I didn't show you how to build the walls. Um, so it's on my hotbars number six. We're going to chuck that in there. And as you can see there, if you press E, I don't know what it is on console, but you can turn it around. So if your wall is facing you and you don't, don't want it to, otherwise it will look like this. And it will be all back to front and you don't want that. Um, so you can pick up the wall. You've got like about 30 seconds to pick up the wall. You want to make sure it's like that and then like that. And the same with the roof and everything. And then we've got the door here. Uh, so we've got a nice little thatched door to go with the house. Now, as you can see, I am really heavy right now. I'm moving very slow because I'm so heavy. What you want to do is you can either drop items by right-clicking and clicking drop or pressing O on the hotkey. Um, I'm not sure what it is on console again, so I apologize. But right-click and drop. And that will free up some of the weight right here these numbers as you can see there's numbers in the bottom right uh, that is how much it weighs and that's how much weight you can carry so i've leveled up to 160 you 100 by default so if i drop that right now that's just gone down a bunch and we can move freely again but you don't want to start wasting valuable materials so a storage box is what you need to create so we're going to craft a storage box and just chuck it in the corner here and bam once that's there, you place that down, you can press T or you can double click on them to transfer everything across. So we're just going to transfer all this across right now. Well, mainly the stuff that we don't need, so the stone and stuff, we don't need that. Actually, no, we will keep the stone for further examples. Um, and if you remember last episode, we cooked up some food, so we've got six meat, which is awesome. And I'm going to show you today how to tame your first dino. So you might want to start small. There's these things called Dilophosaurs, which you've, if you play dark and... You've probably noticed that they kill you a lot. I remember when I first did, started playing Ark. They used to kill me all the time. Um, so to knock stuff, some dinos out. Some dinos re require you to knock them out. You could do this by punching. Or there's a club that you can get soon. Or there's this. Where you can fire stones at them. And eventually it will knock them out. Obviously the bigger the dino. We're not going to be able to knock out a, um, one of these guys. The triceratops with our fists. Or even um, with... With this slingshot or with a, a bow, you need you need a bow and arrow, which you get narcotics, which we'll get to in the future. You can make narcotics, which will knock them out quicker. But first of all, let's just do a test on these beautiful dodos over here. So a dodo, you can either, like I said, this is level 84, so that's quite high level. You probably won't see them unless you've turned up your difficulty, so that's level 66. A little bit easier. So you can either punch them, so you see here, you punch them like this. Um, you, they take a little bit of damage, but they also get um, a little bit of knocked out. Um... You can keep doing that and eventually knock out. Or like I said, you can use this. Or if you've got a club, if you've got to level, you can knock a club. And you can just start throwing this at it. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I heard that noise there. I was like, nope. This guy is evil. This guy right here will rob an item off you if he get catches you. And then he'll run off of you. If you don't kill him, then it, you won't be able to get an item back. As you can see, he jumped at me. It's a 180, so it's a max level. So I'm not even going to be able to kill it. What do you take? He took berries off me. Um, I'm just gonna try and hit it a few times if we can get it low down, but that guy. Yeah, he's robbed that well, I'm not even gonna attempt it. He's robbed it and as you can see down there, there's a Dilophosaur Which is something that we don't want to deal with right now because that is a meat eater um, Think of it as like a little raptor <laughs> And it spits something at you that makes you get a little bit hazy You can't concentrate and you'll lose vision. So we're gonna carry on with the dodo That guy is still here and he's probably got enough energy back to rob me again Um so we really don't want to deal with that. Try and avoid that guy. There you go. He's still running. That's great. Okay. As long as he runs that way, it's fine. So we're going to try and concentrate on this dodo. I know we just lost the last one. So we're going to hit this a few more times. Obviously, a headshot will do more damage. I see this guy is dying instead of being tamed. So you want to probably aim at the body with this because you don't want to kill them. As you can see, he's getting super bloody, so he's going to die. So if we hit him a few times, it might help. There we go. Knocked him out. So as you can see... He went knocked out. He's a little bit bloody, so he's really close to death. If you open up his inventory, he only had 0 0.8 health left. Probably one more hit and he would have died. But this guy's knocked out. As you see, there's a purple bar for unconscious state. Um, and that will go down slowly. Um, normally, on 
Probably on this map, we're not going to have that issue because we've got the rates for taming turned up. But on definitely on official, if you was playing on a server, um, you would have to make sure this is topped up all the time. So as you can see, this is dropping every second. To keep that topped up, you can even make narcotics, which I haven't showed you how to do yet because we haven't got to that level. But at first, you can just feed them narco berries. So if you just put them in and then press E to feed them, as you can see, it's going back up. But also, their food goes down with it, which is perfect because you want the food to go down. Uh, so you can feed them what they need to be tamed. So these like medjo berries, they're like any berries, but you get a better tame with medjo berries. Um, so there's taming rates. So as you see, we chuck that in there. It's going to start eating, and it's slowly going to tame up. Um, its food's quite low, so it's going to start taming up really quick. This guy's going to be super quick. And as you see there, it says taming effectively 68%, which is 28 levels. You want to keep that as high as possible, and you can do that by going on dodo decks which is a website that i'll link in the description and it tells you the best items to give these dinosaurs to tame them at the moment though you're low level so you're not going to have the best dinos so this guy is our dodo look at that so <laughs> dodos um are really useless to be fair <laughs> they're not going to help you but you can pick them up and they're cute look how cute they are <laughs> they're so cute so you can pick them up and they're cute but they're not really useful for anything they will attack stuff but they'll probably die what we want is that dillo over there that is something that we definitely want and um, these guys will follow you so you can Press T to follow, um, press Y to unfollow. These are just commands. Or you can press the at button. It'll show you all the commands that you can do. Um, very different stuff, but it's fine. Now, that dinner is getting quite close. So we're going to run away. We're going to bring the dodo with us. We don't want to lead him back to the base. So we just want to stay away from that dillo right now. We're going to level up a little bit more and get some meat. And then we'll go back to tame that dillo in a second. So we're currently trying to get meat. As we hit this guy, this guy's going to attack our target. So he's also going to attack this dodo. Which is really funny to watch two dodos attack each other. Uh, we've got to stay in the way though so you can actually catch him. It's only doing 10 damage per hit. And that dodo will not attack back because dodos are fleeing creatures. They won't fight. Unless you've tamed them of course. So we're going to kill him. And then we're going to use the pickaxe to get more meat. Because we need a lot more meat because we want to tame that uh, dillo over there. So we've got the meat which is perfect. I'm going to leave this dodo here because we don't really want him to get involved that much. I'm right down here as a power saw. You're going to want to tame one of these soon as well. This is one of the early game tames. It's level 18. We'll keep that nearby because we will want to tame that eventually. So at the moment, we just need to level up a little bit more. You probably can do this without leveling up. But I want to show you the whole um, method of using this Ebola. So we need to go up two more levels to get that. If any of you are curious how to level up quick, I'll make a video on it more in the future. There's loads of different methods, but one for early game, which is quite easy, is basically just craft crafting these foundations. So we can make 13. It's a waste of materials, but if you need to level up, um, if we just level up real quick so you can see how much XP we get. There you go. So with each one, so 278, 282, let's get about 10 XP per foundation. Obviously, you made a, a um, wood foundation. That would also be better. But the best thing about this is... You can craft all these and you see you get the materials. So we're currently crafting nine. If you place them down and then place another one next to it like that, um, you can just build on top of this. You can't build on top of one if it's just one on its own. It will just stack it. But if you put two together, you can replace this one. And if you do it, just look on the left-hand side where it's saying consumed. Uh, we'll just wait for the next consumed to come. Put that down. It's added materials. So it's not the same materials as what you've just crafted. But you do get some materials back. So if the idea is that you keep doing this. As you can see, the materials keep getting back up. What's the benefit of that? Well, you can make more without getting materials. So we can make two more. And then just break some more. And we just crafted another one. So see, we've got six left still. we we'll break that. We're going to do these six and just replace all these and see how many we can craft again. So off them six, we can craft another three, which is perfect. We just crafted one, so we break that down. Um, and we've just leveled up, which is exactly what we needed to get to that level. That's just a little easy way to level up. Uh, obviously, we've got higher rates, so it's a lot easier, but... For you, it would be the same. So we're going to unlock the wooden club, which is useful for knocking stuff out. As you see, we've got the power saw saddle. So we're also going to unlock the bowler. And then next level, we'll unlock the power saw saddle. And we'll show you how to get that power saw. So like I said, dodos aren't really helpful for anything. But the meat eater that we're about to get is helpful. So first of all, what we want to do is make this club. Obviously, we've just used up all the fiber from building that stuff. So we're going to collect some more fiber real quick. Um, doesn't take too much fiber. But we'll just get about 20-odd, maybe 30-odd. There we go. There's that fiber. Put that into here and we can craft two perfect and we can also craft this wooden club so the club is used more so for not killing stuff but for knocking stuff out it's more of a blunt object so it will knock stuff out instead of killing it uh but let's get the narcotics out of this guy so if you oh, not pick it up if you hold e or your button you go into access inventory and you can get back the items that you put in there make sure to probably leave some food on him because you don't want him to starve you also have to look after your dinos 
a lot easier in the future once you've got a trough. So we want to select the boulder that we just crafted, which is this. Now, if you, if you uh, left click, it will spin it like this. And you're about to throw it, and it will actually tie small dinosaurs' legs together so they can't move for a few moments. It's going to be probably like about 30 to a minute, 30 seconds to a minute. So we're going to do that right now. There's two dillos right here, which are meat eaters. They spit at you, and they're horrible. And they probably killed you a lot if you've just been playing Ark uh, for fun. So we're going to sneak up on this guy, and we're going to chuck this bowler. As you can see, it's got him. Now we're going to go behind him so he can't hear. So you can either do this with the stones, or you can use this club. I like to use clubs more so because carrying stones is heavy. Um, as you can see, this is another one that's coming at us. We're just going to get that guy as well. So we might be able to knock both out here. So we're going to hit this guy a few more times. Maybe hit him close to the head. As you can see, that guy's knocked out. And this guy's level 6, so it will only take a few hits to knock this guy out. They don't normally attack if you stay behind them. If you go in front of them, they might attack. But there you go. They've both gone down. So what we're going to do is we're going to split this stack. So if you right-click, split stack, split half. Then you can drag half into there. And that will start feeding him. And then this is a meat eater. There we go. It didn't take much because of the low levels. Put the meat into there. And that guy should start taming really quick. There it goes. So you just got two Dilophosaurs. Really easy. Really stuff. These are the first meat eaters. One's a male. And one, the other one's a male. So that's not too bad. You can't mate them. But you probably don't need to do mating at the moment. So now, what does this mean? You got two Dilophosaurs. So you can get them to attack stuff. And the meat eaters. So they're not super high levels. So don't, again, don't attack the trike. The trike will still murder you. Uh, but little things, like, no, you don't have to beat up dodos. you got these guys, and they'll eat the bodies, and they'll collect more meat for you. Which is perfect. At least, nice, easy survival. So, let's see if we can find... So, okay, there's another Dilophosaur there. So, they can protect you from Dilophosaurs as well. So, hopefully this isn't a super high level. Oh, okay, no, this guy. This guy's perfect. <laughs> so, as you can see, I whistled them to attack it there. But if a dino hits you, and these are on attack my target, they'll automatically attack something. So as you can see, this is a much higher level than these two, so they're going to struggle against it. That spit that they do actually slows down a creature if they hit it. Um, clearly not doing a very good job right now. And we don't have any bowlers, so we can't help them out at all. There we go, we got it. Wow. And if you kill this guy... Okay, they're, they're eating it up, but that's fine. Jesus. So for example, now, if we run up to this Dilophosaur, we're going to let this Dilophosaur hit us. Ready? Right, cause that hit us, and then these two are going to aggro on it and defend you. As you can see, they're just going to attack it. And there's two of them, so they're going to beat it up. It's a low level as well, so... Um, normally, everything would be a low level, but I haven't done a dino wipe, so stuff that are spawning in is a high level. So once they've done that, they should eat it, but they haven't for whatever reason. But you can just use this to get your hide or your raw meat, whatever you want. Perfect, so now we've got one more dinosaur to tame, and that's the Parasaur. Uh, another tip for you, when you're breaking stone... Um, and you don't want flint, so when you hit this, the pickaxe will normally get more flint than stone. If you use a hatchet, it will give you more stone than flint. So at the moment, we needed a bit of stone to craft these. So we're just going to do that real quick. And this power saw is what we're going to knock out next. So obviously, you've got to be, you've got to be um, obvious of levels. This is level 18, so it's going to be easy to knock out. If it's a level 100, it's not going to be easy to knock out. But you do want these guys to be on passive. So if you hold the button to get up the ring, you can go whistle passive. If you know the shortcut for Whistle Passive. Or you can go onto them. Um, hold E, go to Behavior. And then go to Stance Passive on both of them. If you don't know where the Whistle is. So Passive will stop them attacking anything. So if I went and chucked a bow at this guy. These two would attack it because it's on attack my target. Um, but if anything attacks us now. They won't defend us because they're on Passive. So you want to sort of keep them on Passive. If it's on Neutral, anything that attacks them. They will attack. Um, or if you Whistle, attack my target. Anything that attacks me. Or if you attack something, they will attack that. Also, you've got the whistles to follow and stop, the whistle to land fly, uh, flyers, and a whistle to attack this target. So if you point in at something, say that guy, and you go whistle, attack this target, it, they will go and attack that target for you. Really useful if you're against raptors or something, because raptors knock you off your mounts. So we're going to get this guy. So power swords are really, not super fast, but they're faster than you, and they're a pain to, while they're running around while you're trying to knock them out. So we're going to bowl with this guy. And then we're going to do the same tactic as before. We're just going to hit him in the face with this club. <laughs> uh, it seems cruel, but it will have a better life with us. So we're just going to beat this guy up real quick. Come on. Come on. It should go down pretty good. Oh, okay. So our thing broke. Um, probably should have checked that before. We're still going to use our fist. And if not, we have got... There we go. It was a low level, so I knew I could do it like that. So once down, same thing again. Um, you probably won't need narcotics if you've got your rates turned up. Uh, but these guys like Mejo Berries. We don't have any Mejo Berries. 
So you can use any berries for a lower taming rate. So Medra berries would have gave you a higher taming rate. As you can see, every time it eats, the taming effect just goes down because it's not its preferred food. Um, and in, in retrospect to that, the level will go down, that it goes up. This is not important now, but in future games, well, I'll get to it when we need it. Uh, for breeding and mutating, you want the taming to be as best as possible. So there we go. This guy has now been tamed. You can give it a name. I'm not giving it a name. And there we go. you got a power source. What's a power source good for? It's a herbivore. If we get a saddle for this guy, which we'll do in a second, once we've leveled up one more time, you'll be able to ride this power source. So you can't ride the dodo or the dilophosaur because they're too small. But you can ride the power source, which will be your first rideable, your first rhyming... Blah, blah, blah. How do I say that? This will be your first taming, your first rideable tame. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Uh, which is perfect. Now, they're not going to do a huge damage if a Rex or a Raptor come and seize you. Or if you attack a Trike, again, you're going to die. Don't do that. But this guy is brilliant for just, like, basically being a workhorse. Like, just normally, like a normal horse. You can chuck a bunch of inventory in there. L look how much inventory this guy's got. If you open up there, this weight is 400 odd. Your weight's 180. You can just pile this guy up with weights. So you can go out chopping trees, put it into him, and you can carry it all the way back home. Perfect. Easy. But you're also good for getting berries. This guy is perfect for getting berries. So if you're sick of running around and pressing E, it doesn't get fiber, but if you're sick of trying to get berries, so you want more of them narco berries so you can tame a bit more, keep them asleep a bit longer, um, or you need more berries for taming, this guy's perfect for it. So we're going to level up one more time, and then we're going to go and ride this. Okay, so we managed to level up. It just gave us a few more engram points for us to unlock this power saw saddle. Awesome. We also unlock the cross, the bow and arrow with the stone arrows. You want to unlock them as quick as possible as well. But I seem to be unlocking a lot more than what I normally would uh, just because I'm showing you guys. So you want to craft this saddle. To craft this saddle, you need fiber and hide. So obviously, you know how to get fiber. Fiber, you go up to these and you can click E and it'll give you some fiber. And um, that should be enough fiber. And then hide, you'll be getting from killing creatures by using your hatchet or letting your Dilophosaurs eat them. So that Dilophosaurus already got meat. Has this one got the hide in it? Because they did kill a few things. We've got five hide there. So we've got 42 hide in total. Let's see if we've got any in this chest. We do not. Okay, so how much hide do we need left? We need... We need double that. So we need to kill more stuff. Which is easy when you've got two Dilophosaurus. So we'll just go and kill some stuff real quick. Okay, so I managed to get my stuff. Um, and we should have enough hide now to make the Parasaur saddle. So it'll take a little bit longer to craft. We're going to craft a few more of these because we're going to have to get some more uh, Dilophosaurs uh, just to protect us from the beginning. The issue with the Dilophosaurs was that it was a low level. I tamed two low level ones and reversed the level 114. So obviously they got destroyed. Um, again, I'm going to pump into my level into that. So to attach the saddle, you're going to hold E on the Parasaur, go to Access Infantry. And then drag the saddle in like that. Now the saddle jumps on and you can get close to press E to ride. It will tell you what button it is to ride. And then you ride in your first dino. Congratulations. Power Saw is still one of my favorite. So the Power Saw has two abilities. Um, you can press C, which just does this weird roar. It doesn't really do anything, to be fair. But if you right click, it will do this little beam thing. And this will tell you if there's any enemies nearby. So if we try and get close to the side and do this, you might get a Megalodon in the water somewhere. That it will ping and you'll just have a red dot to tell you that there's an enemy there. So let's just do that real quick. No? Okay. There's no enemies nearby. That's probably a good thing. You'll see a red dot if there's an enemy nearby. Um, and you can also set that to automatically do that if you're on PvP. So now you've got this guy. If you left click, it will do its attack. But if you buy bushes, as you can see, it will collect berries. So this, is, this is his attack. But it's also his uh, collection. So as you can see, all these berries that we're getting out of this few bushes here. Hell of a lot more berries than what you would get and a lot easier. It would also hit trees and you get a little wood and thatch. But it's nowhere near effective as your pickaxe and stuff. So there's no point using it to get wood or anything. Um, we're just going to grab all these real quick. Look at that. Perfect. We just got from that hundreds of berries. 100 odd narco berries. And also you got a level on your power saw. I always recommend doing weight on your power saws because they are your weight horses. But that's the end of this episode, guys. You've just tamed three dinos this episode, a meat eater to help you get meat, a dodo, which is good for nothing, and a power saw, which is good for berries, and detecting them enemies. Thank you all for watching, though, guys. Oh, there we go. It said it detected an enemy. Where was it? Not sure where it detected that enemy. Oh, there it is, in the water. There's something in the water that's an enemy. So we do that again. Oh, I just swam away. Let's see. If... There we go. See that red dot there? 
That is an enemy. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. So subscribe to become a human being. And hope you enjoyed this how-to arc series. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.